pole the family of Ipchu. I know the pain you are undergoing now for losing your son. But I want to say God is with you. Each one of us is mourning you. This is the talent, a special talent, a rare talent to get in a generation. But we lost him. But we leave it to God. Because he is the giver of life and he is also the taker of life. I just want to tell everybody, please pray for us at least. When you go to church on Sunday, Saturday, or even Friday, take a special prayer for our athletes. We have lost very good athletes and we don't know what is going ahead. We really don't know. Last year, you remember, we lost another athlete and he was killed. And we don't know the answers what he was killed. Now we lost Kelvin, a talent which we knew this year we were going to see a marathon under two hours. Me, myself, I'm not a marathoner, but because of the talent he had, I knew he was going to break the world record. But we've lost him. To the parents, he has the kids. They will take that place. Even though you cannot use another child to feel the loss of another child, but they will take care of you. Daddy, when I received those news, Kukitungi, you do see, the pain I had at that night, Maka nikawata nikiona babaka akiongea, nilichusumbua sana. Our leaders, tomorrow is the day, I know we might not get a time to speak, but on behalf of this athlete, please pass the information, state of state. Our athletes need a very good and a policy that protects them. There was no way Kelvin could be working alone without a security. Please, our MPs, legislation is in your house. What have you people done for the athletes of this country? You yourself, when you go abroad, no one recognizes you. I'm sorry to say so, but they recognize the athlete. Mostly when you go to abroad, Kenya, just because you want to be involved of course yes it is the pride of Kenya it is because of these people in front of you if you have a chance tomorrow two or three minutes allow even four or five at least to speak in front of the president please be back to that. I feel so pain when we lose such time just imagine the pride Kenya could get this year. Rocky the Marathon and the Paris Olympics. But now, me myself, I was shattered. I didn't train for three days. But I thank God that now I can have recollected myself. I even feel for her mom. When we came here the following day, she was barely walking. She was barely walking. But I'm on board to give my church. Thank you, Mitumishu Waman, for praying for us. Please keep praying for us. And again, I want to ask my fellow athletes, we need to rethink some things. One athlete told me something today. Let us recollect our minds after this battle. Where we will be, we need to be like that. No, no matter where it will be, but it has will come and you are not around the world again. To say thank you to God. Maybe there is somewhere we've gone wrong and we do not know. And let's pray for each other. It's never easy to lose a bully. It's never easy. But only you know, let me say, help him, oh well, brother, it shall be well with you. Rest in peace. Najua wakati umeyoma, afadhali mtumie radi, afadhali. Eh, 